guys hello guys good evening how are you doing over there once again this is lisbeth thank you for always coming back to my youtube channel for subscribing for the love for the comments i'm so grateful i in case you are new here i welcome you to my youtube channel kindly press the subscription button after viewing otherwise i want to appreciate those who checked on me at some few hours without posting but you know some okay these are not all the same i had a challenge and that's why but guys i'm back and i'm so excited to come back to my youtube guys since schools are closed and no much to do at home it's a holiday and two months holiday guys so today i have just decided to take you a tour around my neighborhood in Nyabohanse village guys and it's not so far from the center but it's a beautiful view aside that is to watch and coming to the for a picnic every now and then guys from this position here I'm not sure if you can. I want you to see the view. The view from the main center to this part. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's so clear. Like once we are here, we can see the vehicles from the main road. Yeah. you can see our village that is our Nyabohanse village huh? it's a small village guys but a very beautiful village to be in huh? like you have the shops right there where you can see the houses and then we have homesteads like where um, I am is now the neighborhood neighborhood the homesteads are next to these places like you can see one from a distance that is a neighbor of mine you can see another neighborhood right there where you can see the iron sheet shining guys it's like it's in a valley it's yeah the house is there it's in a valley and when you go to the proper you see right now you can see like the iron sheets are hanging on maze but trust me when you get to that compound it's a very beautiful scenario we have parts over here guys you can see there is a lady passing over there that's a part yeah that's the route that i also used while coming to this place guys <laughs> The part looks so scary. No, it's not scary anymore. It's not scary at all. We are used to those parts, guys. And just next to the path, you can see the main road where you can see vehicles, motorbikes passing over there. Isn't this a beautiful view, guys? I know one day you like to come and visit this place. Yeah, Africa. And you just enjoy nature. You see, nature right, nature right at your doorstep, guys. You don't have to go far. And we also have our crops right over there. You can see the maize plantation. You can see the, at the other end, guys, the maize is so green and so beautiful. And it has already started flowering. And then we have another maize right here. Though it is not yet almost maturity, but it's nice there. You see the maize over there, it's looking like flowers. Eh? If you are at a distance, you can think those are flowers, guys. But that is maize. Eh? Yeah, you can see we have trees over here. Like it's always raining over here. Like I don't know how to call how you call that weather, but it's like the rainfall that is always here is convectional rainfall. <laughs> always raining, guys. Huh? So the views are ever green, ever ever green. Like we only witness a dry season like once in a year, and it doesn't take even a whole month. Like if it goes for a long time, it's always three to three weeks and maybe some days guys and we love this village now just like that guys let me take you just around we have so many rocks over here guys this place is so rocky <laughs> and like if you are bored at home you can just come here sit on the rocks and just uh, pass time browse through all that guys you see even between the rocks there is a girl she calls herself basketball she advised us that between the rocks you can plant 
pumpkins and guys that's what you are going to do next but for now here i planted ba vegetables and maize we also have beans in between like we we, we don't wear we don't want the place to go wasted guys you can see this type of soil eh? very black soil this soil is very fertile like they say once it's dark then it's full of fertility it's, and it is true guys you know anything that we plant at these places in between the rocks grows well and does very fine guys you see we have another place here a rocky rocky place here we can have Sons during the dry season, we use them to dry our grains. Yeah, we put beans on these rocks, we put maize, we can even dry small fish, put them here once that from the day. Yeah, from this juncture, guys, I think now you can have the best view of Nyabuhanse village. It's not an aerial view, guys. It's just a view from one of these rocks. But it looks so beautiful. That's now the hall of Nyabuhanse. We, have, we also have a twin stone. Now you are stone carrying two babies. Eh? Like the stone gave birth to twin stones. Okay? And it's carrying all of them day after day. Guys, you also have forest huh? right here next to the main road we have a forest right over there guys i just said in this place guys the weather is always very cool like so that's why you see the place is so so beautiful guys huh? and it's just beautiful like that love guys we have so many over there yeah the, the place is just rocks guys huh? yeah. and you know the the rocks were so many but with time due to maybe Settlement eh? expansion, people have just got the stones and then farm and fields. But guys, the site is still for me. Once you are here on the rock, it's kind of a valley down there where you can see the homestead. Eh? They look like, like they're kind of in a valley. Guys, did you enjoy our beautiful scene? If you enjoyed, kindly remember to subscribe and comment and tell me about what you saw, the view that you saw. Tell me about it, guys, in the comment section. Remember to subscribe and like. I really, really appreciate it. Let me take you to the other side of the Abohansi. Yeah, the other side of this rock place. Also another good environment that people can go and hang out. Yeah. Another beautiful scenario over there. Oh, check out. Guys, this is the other side. This is the other rocky and beautiful environment as well. You can even see some kids are spinning over there. Let me hear why they are here and why during this time of the day. Hey kids, how are you? Hey, what is your name? Goodies market. You carry goodies all along. And then what is your name? Bates Martin. They are all Martins Martins. Are you brother? Yeah. So you come from around. Bona Mulumbe is a number five. You don't know who they came to rescue. They came to the family. You might have to talk to them. You might have to talk to them. 
ukiwa hapa mnaangalia nini naona mnaangalia wote uko mimi na nafurahisha uko naona wapi kwa kutembea huko mwingine ukiwa hapa mnaona gari sikiki hiyo ndio Guys, you can see this. Hey, how I'm climbing on these stones, eh? Village lady. I'm used to this, eh? Don't fight. Anyway, guys, watch next and see what in the oven. Right here in the amidst the rocks. Guys, I'm trying to look for ones that are dried, ones that are light. Yet dry, like we cut them and leave them to dry, 
So when we come next, they will be dried and we'll just pick. But for now, since I want I want ones that are dry, I have to do all this. Guys, do you think this is an easy task? Hmm? Do you think it's easy? Just like you can see me picking all these tips. Tell me on a comment section about what you think. If it's an easy task or it's something that is strange. Boys, let's roast some beef. Guys, it's been a, a long day and it's like I've spent my whole day here. So let me just end the day here. Roast some beef and fish and go back home while I'm okay. Yeah, guys, what do you think about this 
is it a good way of roasting beef? How do you roast beef over there? In the village, <laughs> this is how we roast beef. Like, just use firewood and we roast. Guys, you know, it has been raining, so the ground is a bit wet. Yeah, that's why you see the firewood is, has also been rained, remember? And that's why you have a, a bit hard time for the fire to light. But it's on course now, it's on course now, guys. We will be finally there. We'll be eating the beef soon. Now because of the fats guys, the fats are dropping on the fire and they are making the fire leak. Yeah, the beef has a lot of fats. Yeah, that sound guys. You are getting that sound it's because of the fats that are dripping from the beef. The fire that's why you can see the fire would be so wet because of the fat stains. It has a lot of fats. It's really burning my fingers there. Eh? The fats are really burning my fingers. That's why I'm, I opt to use a knife. <laughs> You know, using a three stone, uh, the three stone method of cooking is a bit faster compared to if I had to lit the jiko, yeah, charcoal, yeah, it takes uh, a long and but this one, this one is so fast, and we are almost there.
yeah the smoke and guys you know what it's not going to smell smoke because uh, smoking is one way of preserving food uh, in, here in africa it's a traditional way of preserving food so it's not going to smell smoke in any way it's just going to be delicious and smell nice and fresh <sighs> I know this smell has already gone a distance. Eh? That's why you can see my friend here, the dog. Eh? It has smelled <laughs> the beef from its home. And it's here next to where the smell is. Eh? And I know it's ready to eat the beef with me. But now the problem, guys, with this friend of mine. Should I leave this place even in a minute? I'll not come and find the beef, however however much hot it is, I will not find it. It will take the meat direct from the fire and swallow all of it. That is the badness of these friends. Otherwise, there are good security in our homes. Like, you see, once it's here, nobody can disturb me. Like, you can do nothing, guys. Eh? It's, it's, it's more than a policeman, you know? Yeah, it's a lot. It's security here in Africa. So we stay with the dogs. They're friendly, and there is a way of keeping us safe around. For example, right now, in case a snake maybe comes from these places, this rocky, you know, snakes like rocky environments. So in case a snake comes or any other wild animal, trust me, the dog is going to attack it. Yeah. Or any other person who tries to harm me here, the dog will keep me safe. That's why they're our friends. Guys, I want to bisect the beef so that it can roast. Huh? Like the whole of it can roast from the inside and also smear some salt. Yeah. You know when it's like that big, it doesn't roast up to the inside. You see, the inside is still not well roasted. Yeah, it's, the inside is still undercooked. You see, still not well cooked. So once you digest it like that, and then you smear some salt. Yeah, guys, I'm trying to be so much clean. Like, I'm so, I'm observing hygiene. That's why you can see I'm using the banana leaves. Huh? Yeah, banana leaves are clean. Like, it rains every now and then. They're clean. And we also rinse them before using. Yeah, that's why you can see me trying so much to use a small spacer. Huh? Yeah, for hygiene reasons, guys. You don't want to fall sick because of eating roasted beef that was prepared in a, a dirty environment and a high uh, and hygienic guys huh? <laughs>
guys, this is a way of preserving. Like, I want to cut it. This one is ready. And you want to take it. Guess you want to take it with what? Wait and see. Guys, our beef is fully roasted. And now you want to cook some Uganda. You know, in Africa, like village setting, let me see. You don't just take beef without uh, something else. You see it like a, a waste of food. So we have to prepare it and this is our staple food here, our best. I have the flour right there. And a mixture of brown and white ugali guys. Have you ever seen a mixture of white like maize and cassava? Today I want to show you a mixture of maize and cassava ugali. It's so sweet guys. Because of the wind, as you see this part comes. Yeah, the Ugali water is almost boiling. These are not impurities, guys. These are just. Uh, leaves uh, maybe from the fire that have just dropped into the waters so they are not uh, unhygienic or anyway harmful yeah the water is almost boiling let's cook the ugali together guys i'm going to use these leaves to hold the sukuria you know it's hot huh? so this is going to be my <laughs> kitchen towel for today Try to mix the flour well because I already said a mixture of cassava and maize. I'm blazing the ugali. As you can see, it has, it has already turned into brown, which means the cassava is stronger than the maize flour.
ready and these are the boys that I met chilling around here and we want to share a meal with them. Guess what guys? There's a friend here who I met. He was just chilling around here and he's ready to share this nyam chom and galai with me. Let me him introduce himself and tell you who he is and why he's here. Hmm? My name is Kennedy. Kennedy Murini. Uh, I was just uh, chilling here and uh, my friends came. They told me to eat. I eat nyamachoma. Now it's ready. I want to eat. I want to taste it. And I'll tell you whether it is sweet or not. Yeah. So kindly, I'm requesting you to subscribe uh, Elizabeth channel. Elizabeth. 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 Yeah. Give a comment, like, and uh, she's also requesting to see if she can uh, reach a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. Mm, thank you. Yeah, you can have a test. Thank you. You can just do it. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Ah, it's sweet. So nice. Mm-hmm. Nyama ina onja aje? Mm-hmm. Ita msana. Mkula na ugali muniambia. Mkula ugali that has been mixed. Cassava and maize. You have never tested. Mm-hmm. How is it tasty? Tamu. It's nice. So sweet. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. So guys, you see, we don't even have to go back home and cook and prepare meal. Hmm? Hmm. It's nice. You see guys, you can make a meal from anywhere you go. In the forest, in the rocks, and even at, along the road. You can prepare a meal, eat, become full, and share it with your friends. And go home and just chill and relax. You don't have to be in the kitchen every now and then. Thank you guys. Welcome back to my channel once again. I appreciate. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, and share. I really appreciate your support and I love you guys. Let's meet in the next video, guys. Remember to tell me positive, guys, what you think about me, what you think about the food that I just met. And I appreciate. Bye for now.